Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords, and this is a energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of someone who is looking at a situation and really being more analytical with their approach. This is someone who's trying to put their emotions aside so that they can see something objectively. There's a, a strict energy. There is a, a focused energy here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Three of Cups, Water Energy, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Tower in the reverse, Mars Energy. So with the Queen of Swords, there could be someone who you 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 cut off. You know, you could have ended things with this person or created some sort of distance with this person. And you may find that you run into this person again. There's this feeling of a reunion with the Three of Cups. So you could run into them at a social event or through friends, there's something about reuniting with this person who you may have had a tower moment with. Um, but there's still this feeling of unfinished business. So you or them could feel that way. But this person, they do want to, they want to approach you. It looks like they, it's, it's quite intentional on their part. And this encounter may leave you feeling like, um, more in this analytical energy, like you really want to think something through. There's something about you really um, analyzing the situation or the interaction. So let's clarify these cards, Cancer. Okay, we have the Hierophants and this is Taurus energy. Yeah, it does look like this is a connection where you may have learned a lesson, like you may have felt like this person came into your life to really teach you a hard lesson. And this experience that you had with this person may have been something that left you feeling like, it's almost like you were more soft when you knew this person. And after this tower moment with them, you became more of a queen of swords, regardless of your gender. But with the queen of swords, there's an energy of being more, um, discerning, you know, kind of using your heart less, and, you know, um, not being open as before. So there's this feeling of having had a negative experience with this person and acting accordingly because of that. You may see this person as someone who really tested your boundaries and um, they were a big lesson for you. So let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy, the Knight of Cups, Water Energy, and the Sun, Leo Energy. So this person is coming back around. Um, they do feel like they want another chance here. They may um, offer you some sort of sincere, heartfelt message with the Knight of Cups. Uh, it could even be a romantic offer. This could be them wearing their heart on their sleeve. This could be an apology. But someone who is coming towards you very expressively um which is quite contrasting with you because you're coming across as very uh closed off um but it does look like you are showing up as direct and still confrontational but this person is trying to almost like uh soften you up they want to might melt the ice you know they want to warm the situation again and it does look like you do have somewhat of an upper hand here because this person is making it very obvious that they still have feelings for you and with the wheel of fortune there's this feeling of the tables have turned and you may have a lot of control in the situation this time around and it does look like you have learned a lot from this experience you know there's that once but since twice shy type of energy so we see this person feeling like they need to prove themselves to you feeling like they need to impress you somehow okay so 
I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. Okay, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this person is going to be taking steps towards you, trying to make an effort with you, um, hoping to bring back positivity to the connection with you. This is someone who does want to repair their connection with you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Okay, so they've been planning to approach you for a while. With the Wheel of Fortune, they could have been waiting for the right moment. So if you run into this person, it's not random. This person is it's something that they've been wanting to do for a while. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a, a card for your advice, Cancer. Okay, we have surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.